Welcome to the video guide of the Flashy Science Density of Solids and Liquids experiment. On the screen you'll see a mass balance and five solid samples of a cube, a cuboid, a sphere, a pebble shape and a prism. There's also a measuring cylinder and a flask for emptying the cylinder. To find the density of any solid or liquid we need to know its mass and volume. Turn on the mass balance by clicking its power button then wait for it to initialize and click the tear button to zero the display. You can then measure the mass of the samples by clicking and dragging them onto the mass balance. We now have the cuboid on the balance and it shows a mass of 74.4 grams. A green and white arrow icon has now appeared in the top right of the screen. Click on this to move to the volume measurement screen for regular objects. That's the cuboid, the cube and the sphere. You will now see your chosen object and a ruler. Click and drag each of them to measure a length dimension. You can then click on the icon with red and blue arrows in the top right of the screen to rotate the object into different orientations and allow all lengths of the cuboid to be measured. When you're finished, click on the green and white tick icon to move back to the main screen. Now it's not possible to measure the volume of irregular shapes with a ruler, so let's see how that's done instead. Remove the cuboid from the mass balance either by clicking and dragging it into its original position or by clicking on any other object. Then drag either the pebble shape or prism onto the balance to measure its mass. Click again on the green and white arrow icon to move to the volume screen for irregular objects. You will now see a displacement tube with a spout above an empty measuring cylinder. There's also a flask of pure water, your chosen object, and a flask for emptying the cylinder. Click and drag the flask of water to above the displacement tube, and then click it again to pour water into the tube. The displacement tube is now filled right up to its spout with water and any excess water has poured into the measuring cylinder. This initial volume can be measured by clicking on the measuring cylinder to see a zoomed view of the volume scale. Black lines are shown every 10 cm cubed and blue lines every 2 cm cubed. Or click on the empty cylinder flask to remove this water altogether. Now click and drag your object to above the displacement tube and release it to drop it in. This will cause water of a volume equal to that of the object to be displaced from the tube into the measuring cylinder. This volume can be measured in a similar way as before by clicking on the measuring cylinder scale to see a zoomed view. When you're finished with this, click on the green and white tick icon to return to the main screen once more. Finding the density of liquids requires using the measuring cylinder on the main screen. Remove the other object and then click and drag the measuring cylinder onto the mass balance. You can now either record its initial mass or else press tear to zero the display with the cylinder still on the balance. As before, click on the green and white arrow to move to the liquid screen. You will see the measuring cylinder again and a selection of four liquids, pure water, salt water, mercury, and sunflower oil, which some of you might use for cooking. There is also a waste liquids flask for emptying the measuring cylinder. Click and drag the flask containing the liquid you'd like to measure. I've chosen pure water so that it's above the measuring cylinder. Then click the flask again to start pouring the liquid into the cylinder. Click once more to stop the pouring or else just let all of the liquid in the flask be poured into the cylinder. Click on the measuring cylinder to see a zoomed view of the scale so you can measure the volume of the liquid easily. As before, black lines are shown every 10 cm cubed and blue lines every 2 cm cubed. When you've measured the volume, click on the green and white tick icon to move back to the main screen. You'll now see the measuring cylinder and liquid on the mass balance. If you zeroed the balance display before moving to the liquid screen, this will be the mass of the liquid. Otherwise, you will have to deduct the mass of the cylinder 
that you have measured previously. You can return to the liquid screen and click the empty cylinder flask to remove the liquid from the cylinder and then choose one of the other liquids. For example, we could choose salt water. You can then return to the main screen with this liquid in the cylinder and click the empty cylinder in this screen to empty the cylinder once more. The experiment also has functionality that you can access via this icon in the top left of the screen. This opens a menu with five more icons. The first icon simply closes the menu again. The second icon returns you to the experiment when you're on a question screen. We'll come to those shortly. The third is the click information icon. Selecting this will show all of the areas on the screen that can be clicked to control the experiment. The fourth icon opens a screen of questions directly related to the experiment you might have just performed. The final icon opens up revision questions that cover the area of density of solids and liquids more generally. All questions are marked automatically and many contain randomly generated numbers so you can retake them as many times as you like for practice. We hope you enjoy using this flashy science experiment.